I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to use RStudio to contribute to a GitHub repository using RStudio's built-in uh, Git client. So the test case is going to be this particular GitHub set up by Jessica Rodriguez uh, called Book, Book Club. So I'm going to open up RStudio first. Here we are. I'm going to copy this URL. And in RStudio, select New Project. OK. I want version control, and I want Git. I'm going to copy this URL. Let's go ahead and call it Book Club. And uh, let's put it somewhere else, because I already have it there. Let's put it in a directory called um, TMP. OK. And I will open this in a new window. Um, that will just make sure that the, um, the workspace is automatically in the right directory. OK. Create project. Here we are. Now you'll notice there are a couple files that are here already. Um, we're going to leave those alone. And I am now going to create a new presentation. So under this new, let's create a new presentation. Um, and I'm going to put it in a new folder, week, week one introduction. test, uh, let's call it example. Now you'll notice our studio creates this nice um, empty template here. And this is already a working presentation which you can test over here. So I'll go ahead and put my name in. And let's go ahead and replace. So this is our markdown. This is, these are some examples of our markdown. If you want a little bit more information on it, you can click on Help, see Authoring Our Presentations, or Markdown Quick Reference. Those are good, good points to give you a little bit more information than you get from the, the um, example. So I'm going to replace this and call this um, a first plot. And here I'm going to, now you can get some hints on different uh, things to do in, in R Markdown, like insert chunk is a very useful one. It goes as follows, and can do something like plot 1 to 20, PCH equals 1 to 20. I can just, I'm going to hit control enter, that's one of the other things under, um, under code, control enter, um, and that'll show us just a, a preview. It's not actually in the presentation yet, but if I hit preview here, this will actually become part of the presentation. Um, now, if you look at, uh, at knitter, K-N-I-T-R, um, this presentation uses Knitter. So if you want to know about more about this and the options, you need to Google for help on Knitter. And I'm going to put echo equals false. So you see right now there's this plot. If I hit um, preview again, now that's gone. Okay. I should put a space here. There. Now this is a different paragraph and up there. OK. Now we've made something. Let's add it to GitHub. You see this little icon up here that says Git. We're going to press that. We have a number of options here. What I want to do is commit. I'm going to select this. And now this is important. We are not going to add all of the stuff 
that the computer has produced. The only one that we created manually here was example.rpres. So I'm going to deselect all these other things that were generated by the computer and only keep the one file that I created. If you manually copy some data files into this directory, then you will see them here as well. You can add those. Just don't add, add the computer generated things. Um, now I'm going to enter commit message, example presentation, so people, this will become a part of the log to see what you did. Um, let's say committed from our studio. And let's commit. Okay, so this has caused the commit locally to our local git, but it has not been pushed to the, to the web page, to, to GitHub itself, where everyone else will be able to see it. To do that, you have to push this push button. I'm going to push that, and there, it's done. Um, this works because Jessica has already added me as a contributor to Book Club. You will have to create a GitHub account and let Jessica know what your user ID is in order to be able to just do a push like this. Also, uh, you will have to do something for else for authentication, which is a little bit of a hassle, and I'm not going to go over it um, in person here because it's different depending on which uh, on which uh, or operating system you use. But I'm going to point you to this web page on GitHub, help.github.com slash articles slash generating dash SSH dash keys. And this is how when you go and push, GitHub knows it is you. And you'll see there's they have directions for Mac, for Windows, and for Linux. Um, in Mac and Linux, you will use a terminal, something like this, or under your, your apps. Um, in Windows, you will uh, download GitHub for Windows. By the way, you do also have to have Git for, um, for Mac and for, um, and for Linux installed in addition to our studio. Um, and so you'll, you can go to Git and get instructions for how to install Git. Let's see if they have. Set up git. Uh, download and install. OK. So you will have to install git also. And they have some instructions for all of the different operating systems here. OK, that's all. Oh, sorry. No, I will say one more thing. Pull will fetch you any new changes that someone else has pushed to the repository. So before you go and start making changes, it's a good idea just to hit pull and see if there is anything changed in the repository. Okay, that's really all.